Good morning, it's Easter Sunday. And like many of you, this is going to be a very different Easter Sunday. Normally my giant family of about 25 to 30 something people would all be heading over to my sister-in-law's house today to celebrate Easter and also any family birthdays that were in this month, like my niece Cora, uh, my cousin Kay. Um, and so today is gonna be a different day. Uh, I'm gonna head over to my parents' house and we're just gonna have a little dinner uh, and practice uh, social distancing. So it's, it's sad, uh, it's different, but we'll hang in there for a couple of months and it will be over. Um, I did put my little Easter dress on today. I did get all dressed up just because why not? Um, and today I thought I would focus on some tips that have worked for me on my Optavia journey. So I have been on the five in one since the end of July. So July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. So I'm all in my ninth month. I've dropped 60 pounds and, um, I'd never thought the program would work. I've tried lots of other programs and didn't have any success, and I'm thrilled with this program. Um, and so someone had asked me for some tips of what I did along the way that helped. So the first thing I wanted to tell you about was to put your fuelings everywhere. I have fuelings in my coat, in my car, in my book bag. I had, when I went to work, half of the fuelings that I got every month went right to work, so they were always there. Um, just have them with you always. And also kind of have a general plan about what you're going to eat, right? The nice thing about our program is we don't really have to think about the food. We take that off our plate so that we can um, focus on other things. So if you just already know which five things you're going to eat every two and a half to three hours, you just eat it. Um, if you, if you definitely are like, no, not that one, you can always switch it out. It's not like that big a deal. That's the nice thing. They're all interchangeable, but it's nice to start the day with a plan and kind of keep it. The next tip I have for you is to get yourself a special water cup or water bottle. You have to get yourself a hundred ounces or half your body weight in ounces in water. And so this was the cup my mom bought me in July. My friend Christina got me this one at the end of August. Then I became an Optavia coach and I started drinking my water out of this water bottle. And then I went on Amazon and decided to buy myself some beautiful water cups. And it's amazing how much more likely you are to get your water in if you're just a little more excited about what you're drinking your water out of. My next tip for you is to try to stay busy. And I know this was a lot easier when I was working. I only had certain times during the day when I could eat uh, my fuelings. And so they all kind of got in in a very predictable way while I was at work. Now that we're in this quarantine stay home time, this has become a big challenge. So I'm really trying to stay busy, try to make myself a list every day, um, try to go for a walk, clean something, get out of the house, just get away from the kitchen and get my mind off of what am I gonna eat next? Um, and so on the days that I'm busy, this program is so easy. Um, Next is planning out your lean and greens, okay? Um, and they're not difficult, but I would say uh, what I found helpful was to make some sort of casserole that would give me four servings or, you know, six servings and I could freeze a couple extra and know that I had those all set for the week. But also have a couple of one-offs. So I always have a bag of shrimp in my freezer for the days that like, Maybe I don't want to eat that lean and green for the third time in a row. And so I can always pull out 10 frozen shrimp, defrost them, and switch things up that week. 
I'm also blessed to live in a place where I have some really great takeout, really simple, um, some great salads. Um, so the salad place next to me or the sub shop next to me um, makes a really good crab meat salad. Um, there's a chicken salad salad that I like or, you know, a steak tip salad salad. Um, so on those days when like maybe I didn't make a lean and green, I already know what I think is an okay lean and green to just go and grab from one of the takeout places near me. Um, if you are going out to a restaurant, I highly recommend you pull up their menu and you take a look at it. It's very easy to go um, to a restaurant on this program. You just need to plan ahead. And so if you plan ahead, you know, the filet mignon, the asparagus, um, to get some sort of fish with a vegetable. Very simple to do, but if you go and everybody else is ordering pasta or veal parm and you're like, oh my God, I'm starving and that sounds so good, you're more likely to come off program. So if you look at the menus ahead of time and just be excited, like you're going out, it's still kind of fancy. I don't know how to cook filet mignon. I Every time I try to make steak, it tastes like sawdust. So look at the menus and just make some better choices when you're not starving and tempted in the moment. And then just stick with your plan. Um, let's see. Um, special occasions. Special occasions, um, I have kind of run the gamut. So for Halloween, it was very close to the beginning of my journey. And so for Halloween, what I did was I just planned all my fuelings to be chocolate. I had like a chocolate shake, followed by a chocolate granola bar, followed by a chocolate brownie that I made into a waffle. And so all day I was eating chocolate, so I didn't feel like I was missing out on anything for that holiday. And I stayed perfectly on plan for the five in one. And then by the time Thanksgiving rolled around, I had had a little bit more success with the program and I felt a little bit more confident that I could make a plan, um, have some indulgences and then go right back on plan. So the key is to make a plan because it's then it's your plan. And if you follow your plan, you're not gonna beat yourself up for coming off the five in one. So for Thanksgiving, I said I could have some of my family's stuffing, you know, um, and so I did, but that was my plan. So at the end of the day, I felt like, oh, I took check. I did everything I said I was gonna do. And the next day I was right back on the five and one. Christmas season came around and I, oh, I did pretty well. So I, again, I made a plan. I was like, okay, if there's appetizers, try to stick to protein, cheese, protein, um, pepperoni, shrimp. Um, and then everywhere I went, I brought the Octavia pudding with whipped topping. So I wasn't tempted by the desserts that were around all Christmas season. Again, it was my plan. So there was no need to feel guilty that I came off plan because that was the plan that I made for how I was going to handle that day. Now today is Easter and I am just gonna completely sort of abandon my plan. Um, I'm gonna do kind of a modified four and two. So I'm gonna have shrimp salad for lunch um, and I'm gonna have um, eggplant parm for dinner when I go over to my parents' house and I have some candy in the house that I'm gonna let myself have as Easter candy. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go right back on the five and one plan because that's my plan. I'm 10 months in, I'm 10 pounds away from goal, and I decided it's okay if I totally just have like a crazy Easter day. I will get back on the plan tomorrow. I will not beat myself up, and we will just start again tomorrow. It's not a big deal. Um, the last tip that I really have been thinking about a lot lately, because again, while I was at work, I was tired. I was getting up at 5.30 in the morning. I was teaching my classes during the day. I was grading it when I came home. I was planning lessons. And so to go to bed, you know, at 8.30 and read a book for a while and then just go to bed was pretty normal. Um, and I, I'm realizing now that I'm on quarantine, like now that I'm up eight o'clock, 
9 o'clock, 10 o'clock is when I just want to eat crap constantly. So I've been in like snack mode, like, oh, I'm just going to have cheese at 8 o'clock. Well, I'm just going to have a couple of nuts at 9 o'clock. Oh, I'm just going to eat. And I'm like, what are you doing? I really haven't been off program this much since I started. And I realize this is a unique situation, but um, I think the fact that I got to go to bed early all those other months really helped me be successful on this plan. So if it's something you can do, go to bed at eight, read till nine, and then wake up tomorrow and start again. It makes the five in one so much easier. <sighs> well, that's going to be our Easter for today. Um, I hope all of you that celebrate have a good Easter in whatever unique way you're going to have it today. Um, if any of these tips helped you or if you have different tips that you think would help other people's, please drop it in the comments down below. Um, everybody stay safe and healthy and um, I'll keep you posted.